So uh, tell us about the radon system itself and uh, what's involved in installation and, okay. and in particular this is a unique system here each system is going to have a uh, different set of circumstances based on the layout of the house and accessibility of certain things? Correct. Okay. Uh, when we came in here, first is to determine an exit point uh, where you can pipe the radon once you have got it into one spot and get it out of the home. We decided this was the best place to have a suction pit. So what we did was we bored an inch and a quarter hole right at this point and we put suction on here. Then we went to different areas in the basement. We had, I think, three or four different locations where we drilled a, a small hole, a three-ace hole. And when we put suction on here with a manometer, we could tell how much draw we're getting from this area to this point. And we decided we had very good draw here, so this ended up being our, our primary collection point was right here. And what kind of pipe are you using throughout this entire system? Uh, this is 4-inch Schedule 40 PVC. We use a, a thick pipe, a thick wall pipe, uh, just for durability and for quietness. The system is very quiet that way. And the 4-inch pipe in this situation, sometimes we can use a 3-inch pipe, but with the readings we got, we wanted to go to a little, little larger pipe here, so we went with the 4-inch. If you're drawing out of a, a sump pit or if there's gravel underneath a basement, you can easily get by with three, but it uh, it was decided that we'd use four here. Okay. So you mentioned the YouTube system, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, does the radon gas run through that then, and that's how you're able to uh, tell whether or not it's it's being mitigated? No, all this is doing is telling you pressure in the pipe. Ah, okay. It, it, it's just showing you the pressure that so you have in the, the pipe. So the air is pushing. Right. How much it's pulling, how much gotcha. suction you have. Okay. So that, that's what this is doing, telling you how much suction you have. Okay. The, well, uh, uh, let me just take you through the system. What we did, once we knew that this, this was the place we wanted the pit, uh, we bored a bigger hole, a four, inch, four and a half inch hole, mm -hmm. and then we took uh, 20, 20 gallons, approximately 20 gallons of material out at this point. So that you can picture four or five, five gallon buckets of material being taken out of a four inch hole. So by means of an auger and suction in your hands, you pull this material up. So that's the collection point. It's, it's drawing all the radon gas to this point. Okay. So once we have this in place, uh, we should probably, so we also have a crawl space under this section of the home. Mm -hmm. So we tied, right at this point, we tied the crawl space in with this lower level and as you can see we tie these two we damper it down at this point so we don't suck too much out of the crawl space there's a lot more restriction underneath this slab than there is the crawl space so by means of a damper we can control how much suction we have coming out of the crawl space so the two are tied together and at this point it's going this direction and out the home at this point Okay.